welcome to Glorified Gutsy Gaming. I'm Jake, and today we are unboxing Christian Markison, Class of Culture, Z-Man Games, 14 and up, 2 to 4 players, 180 minutes. Transform a meager settlement into a mighty empire whose culture will be your greatest achievement. To accomplish this, you will have to invent new technologies, build grand cities, and spread the influence of your culture across your enemy's borders. You will need to explore the lands and seas with your settlers and ships and conquer foreign cities and barbarian settlements. With 12 advanced categories including various government types, a modular game board, superb city pieces and more, Clash of Cultures offers a myriad of experiences to accomplish your ultimate goal. Be the one ruling culture, the one that will be remembered and admired for thousands of years. Will you be the leader of this great culture? Build your cities piece by piece. We got a little ad for more games. Pandemic. Pocket Battles. I haven't heard of that one. Merchants and Marauders. Aura and Labora. Haven't heard of that one. The Walking Dead. Clash of Cultures. It's this one. Troy's Agricola. Hiroshima Hex. Shadow Hunters. Dungeon Lords, Arabian Nights, Carcassonne, Terra Mystica. And we've got rules. Merchants and Marauders by this guy on the back. Components. Game setup. Tell me the goal. Basic game concepts. Winning the game. The game ends after six rounds or before that if one of the players has no cities left when entering the status phase. The winner is the player with the most victory points. Each player counts his victory points including half points. If players are tied for points then whoever built the Great Pyramids wonder wins. Otherwise they go through the above list one by one starting from the top. The winner is the player with the most points from city pieces then if tied you move on to the most points from advances and so on. If still tied it is regarded as a joint victory. And there's a variable end that they're mentioning. Happiness and mood tokens, it's pretty cool. Cities, playing the game, and actions. Moving status phase, combat, further game concepts, exploration, exploring with ships, advanced details. Variants, variable end game, four round game, cool. Alright, so we've got what basically are reference cards with your actions and things for each player. And then these look like their player boards. We've got blue, black, green. Oh, did I miss one? Oh. Ah, yes I did. Here it is. Red. Don't know how I missed that. And then we've got a turn track and some tokens. 
we've got board pieces, mood markers, some other tokens. We got mountains on this one. Standy pieces, I think that's what that is. Bottom's rounded though. Alright, we got all sorts of, we got two decks of cards, a bunch of minis, and we've got oh plastic cubes for yellow, green, red, and blue. Oh, and we got a set of black black D6s. We've got warriors with spears and shields in yellow. We've got buildings in all the colors for each player. More buildings. These might be docks. Hard to say. Well, then we've got black pieces of the same, the same structure as the, as the yellow guys we looked at. More little buildings. That looks like farms, maybe. Blue figures. Green figures, so they're all the same position. We've got some bigger buildings for each color. It looks like a castle. Oh, now we got boats. I was waiting for that. So there's all the different colors for each player, boats, and then sails. Oh, and then we've got what appear to be traveling people for each color. And then I think these are the red pieces here at the end. Yep. Alright, so let's take a look at these cards. So we've got objective cards in green, wonder cards in purple, and event cards in blue. A fine year, gaining food, food, other food for people, two food, great discoverer, get a free maritime advance, reveal a new region and stuff, great artist. Culture token, culture advance, make a city happy, great prophet, great philosopher, scientist, statesman, warlord, merchant, engineer, population boom, volcano, famine, earthquake, major earthquake, local flood, major flood, mig yeah, migration, civil war, plague, epidemic, revolution, a splendid year, and then we're on to wonders, great wall, great lighthouse, great pyramids, great library, great gardens, great mausoleum, statue, and then we've got the green one which is objective cards, academic and conqueror, Coastal Culture Warmonger, Advanced Warmonger, Religious Warlord, 
City Planner Great Battle, Ideas Against All Odds, Happy Conqueror, Enlightened Blockade, Well Stocked, Amphibious Assault, Rich Great Navy, Or Great Army, Wood Fortified, Food Standing Army, Diverse Art of War, Focused Daring. We got one more deck of cards, and I see more green, and I see action cards in here. So action cards are brown. So there's some more objective cards. Colony threat. Culture Legend, Consulates, Great Battle, Civilization Draft, Science, Amphibious Assault, Merchant Marauder, Citadel Warlord, Seafarer Aggressor, Government Civilize Civilizer, Government Aggressor, New Founder Defiance, Dominion Military Might, Trader Defiance, Sea Lanes Draconian, Balanced Daring, Influence Civilizer, Wonderful Outposts. And then these were the action cards. Advance, Inspiration, Leap of Knowledge, Good Ideas. Leap of Knowledge again, Good Ideas. Mercenaries, Cultural Awe, City Growth, Focused Collection, Explorers, Spies, Heroic General, Negotiations, Leadership, Leader Assassination, Mass Collection, New Goals, Tech Synergy, Teach Us Now, Militia, Tech Exchange, Tech Exchange, Idea Synergy. All right, that is all cards. So that is everything in and on the box of Clash of Cultures. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.